From a billion dollar plan to build a 12 kilometer tunnel and bridge in Qatar, to the world's greatest canal project that tragically took the lives of over 25,000 workers, here are five seriously impressive underwater mega projects. To say humanity has made great achievements over the last few centuries would be an understatement. The advancements in technology are hard to truly comprehend, and for now it seems there's no end in sight. One achievement that is rarely discussed is that of communications. Before phones, getting a message to someone hundreds of miles away was no easy task, let alone across the entire ocean. That all changed with the invention of the submarine communications cable. Back on July 29th of 1858, two steam-powered battleships met in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. They were each carrying one end of a 1.5-centimeter-wide, 4,000-kilometer-long cable. On this day, they joined the two ends, linking the European and North American continents. Today, there are around 380 underwater cables in operation around the world, spanning a length of over 745,000 miles, or 1.2 million kilometers. The process of laying cables takes years and costs millions of dollars. Cables are safest in deep water where they can rest on a mostly flat seabed. Slowly, ships travel along, laying the cables as they go until they reach their destination. Now, it's easy to forget just how important and useful this invention was and the things it's allowed for on a global scale. Definitely one of the most incredible mega projects in history. Now, it's no secret that the Middle East is home to some of the world's most impressive projects. Places like Dubai have grown in international popularity for this exact reason. Another country with similar engineering feats is Qatar. It is home to such buildings as Aspire Tower, Tornado Tower, and the Burj Doha. But keep your eyes open because in the next few years, they will have added yet another engineering marvel to their collection. The Doha Shark Crossing. This billion-dollar project will actually be a mix of bridges and tunnels and is expected to span a total length of 12 kilometers. In the end, it will connect Doha's Hamad International Airport with Katara Cultural Village in the north of the city. 600 vehicles per hour are expected to travel along this stretch of road, which will provide more direct access. It will be a much easier route to take for many commuters to ease the burden of travel through the city. The plan calls for a total of three bridges and two tunnels. One bridge, the West Bay Bridge, is even rumored to have the largest arch span in the world. So, if everything goes to play, this will not only be one of the most impressive designs in the world, it will also be a record breaker. Of all the transportation mega projects that the world has seen, perhaps the most interesting, shocking, and inspiring is the Panama Canal. The history of the Panama Canal dates all the way back to the 1500s, when Charles V ordered a survey of the area to lessen the voyage for ships. Unfortunately, the technology needed to do this did not yet exist, so nothing was done. Fast forward to the late 1800s, when the French made the first attempt at construction following the success of the Suez Canal. Although the Panama Canal was significantly shorter, it was plagued with problems companies involved did not see coming. The canal presented much more of an engineering challenge due to the climate and various species of dangerous creatures in the area. Finally, in 1889, the French attempt went bankrupt. Over 22,000 men had died and several hundred million had been spent. Not many years later, in 1905, the United States took control of the land and construction began once again. Their first mission was to rebuild the infrastructure needed to house workers and take care of them when they got sick. Advancements in medicine allowed for issues like yellow fever to be controlled, and new machinery made the mining more manageable. It was an immense, challenging, and brutal undertaking the likes of which the world had never before seen. By 1914, just about 10 years after construction began, the canal was completed and the first ship was able to sail through. The development meant that travel times between the West Coast and Europe were nearly cut in half. 
In 1999, the canal was given to Panama and today is one of the seven wonders of the world. Norway is a country full of scenic landscapes and icy mountains. These mountains, though, have proven to be a challenge for those who live there, as the rough terrain makes travel between relatively short distances quite the challenge. To fix this, the Norwegian government has been planning an infrastructure project called the Floating Underwater Tunnel and aims to replace the ferries. When completed, it is estimated that it will cost $40 billion. The submerged roadway would be built with what looks like a pair of concrete tubes and would lie about 100 feet below the surface. Though the tunnel is able to float, it wouldn't actually be floating. The tubes would be stabilized by cables tethered to the seabed and or by pontoons floating on the surface. Additionally, the tunnel wouldn't interfere with the movement of ships, boats, or even submarines. It's an incredibly ambitious project, and one that could revolutionize the way we travel. Experts say if it is completed, it wouldn't be until roughly 2050. So, for now, it's nothing more than a proposal, but hopefully will soon become a reality. In the history of Europe, many great engineering feats have been done, but one in particular stands out for occurring entirely underwater. In 1994, the governments of England and France officially opened the English Channel Tunnel, a railway tunnel beneath the English Channel that connects both countries. When construction first began, engineers knew it would be an incredibly difficult task. Nothing like this had ever been done before. Plans were laid to have this long tube sit 250 feet beneath the seabed and 380 feet below sea level. At 23.5 miles, it has the longest underwater section of any tunnel in the world, and is the third longest railway tunnel in the world. But even though trains aren't likely to run into any traffic this far underneath the sea, there is a speed limit of 160 kilometers per hour or 100 miles per hour. This tunnel has seen tons of use over the years. For example, in 2017, there were an estimated 20.7 million people that traveled here. Engineers were praised quite a bit when this tunnel was completed. Not only was there a challenge of how to complete such a structure under the water, safety for commuters was a big concern. In the end, though, it turned out to be an incredibly successful feat of engineering. The marvels humans have built never cease to amaze, but we often think of bridges and skyscrapers. It's easy to forget that some of our greatest achievements have taken place not on land, but in the sea. Without them, many things that are now possible very likely wouldn't be. Well, that's all we have for you today. But if you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that said, thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.